Hello and you're very welcome to this lesson on market failure for IB economics. In this video we're going to look at the idea of negative externalities of production, uh, looking at diagrams and examples of it and the welfare loss associated with the production of a good or service. So, let's look at an example for this. Let's take a cement factory that emits smoke into the air and disposes its waste by dumping it into the ocean. In here there's obviously a, a production externality here. Why? Well, on top of the firm's private costs of actually making the cement, there's also additional costs that are going to spill over to society. They are the polluted air and the dumping into the ocean. This has bad negative consequences for local people, for swimmers that would use the sea, for the sea life, for the fishing industry, etc. So we can see ourselves quite clearly here that we have a situation where we have a factory that's going to have the cost of actually making its good, but also as a result of making its goods, there's a spillover negative effects for society from producing that good. So let's look at how this looks in a graph. So we have our supply equals marginal private cost curve representing the firm's private costs of production. We also have another curve there showing the marginal social cost curve showing the full cost of society producing cement. This additional curve shows the extra costs of the pollution that society have to uh, endure. So for example, um, we uh, the extra costs here are the cost of dumping in the ocean and the costs of uh, polluting the into the air into the atmosphere. At each and every level of outcome, output, the marginal social cost is greater than the marginal private cost. So the firm pollutes regardless of the output. So no matter how much they're making, there's going to be a level of, of an external cost. There's going to be a negative externality. The gap between the two curves is what we know as the external cost. So the gap between the marginal private um, cost and the marginal social cost is the cost to society in producing this good. We can find the free market outcome from the point where the marginal private benefit and marginal social benefit and marginal private cost meet. So that's shown to us there at the point PM and QM. So that would be our equilibrium point that we know up until now, where there's the private benefit and the private cost match. The social optimum, or the best outcome, is given where the marginal social benefit and the marginal social costs intersect. So we can see here that our marginal private benefit, our marginal social benefits are the same. So the benefit uh, to a consumer of using uh, getting cement in this example is the same to society. There's no spillover benefits to society. We're just talking about spillover costs to society. So the optimum point, uh, which is best for society, is to produce less at Qopt and to produce more uh, and at a higher price of Popt, which will cover the external cost of production. Important point to know is that when there's a negative, extra, a negative production externality, the free market over allocates resources to the production of the good and too much of it is produced relative to the social optimum. This is shown by QM is greater than Qopt uh, and the marginal social cost being greater than marginal social benefits at each point at the point of production of QM. So now we're going to look at the idea of welfare loss with our negative production externalities. Welfare loss, for if you're not sure, is the loss of a portion of social surplus that arises when marginal social benefits are not equal to the marginal social costs due to market failure. Welfare loss is also known as deadweight loss. So if we look here at our diagram, when there's an externality, there's a welfare loss involved, involving a reduction in social benefits due to the misallocation of resources. So basically, we're not producing the right amount of resources to the product. If we were, we'd be operating at the point PMQM, but we're not because we're over allocating resources because of the external cost involved. But the shaded area of the diagram shows the welfare loss and the negative production externality for all units of output greater than QOPT. Why your marginal social cost is greater than marginal social benefit, meaning society would be better off if left less were produced. Because we are producing uh, at the point of PM, uh, QM, and there's this extra cost of society um, of the polluted oceans and the polluted air, there's an external cost and there's a welfare loss because extra resources have to be allocated to cleaning up that mess or uh, sorting that external cost. That is why the welfare loss is where it is. Now, where do you identify or how do you draw where the welfare loss is in this case? Well, basically, we draw a triangle from our point where we go from our P-opt, Q-opt to the point where PM, QM is and where QM uh, to the marginal social cost curve. And we draw a triangle between 
the those three points there so if you can see yourself there so from qm basically draw a line up to dotting a line between our marginal pro, uh, private benefit my, sorry sorry our marginal private cost and our marginal social cost curves uh, and match up that triangle to the point where p opt and q opt meet and that area is the welfare loss it's the over allocation of resources uh, to cover the external cost of the production of this good so now we've seen what a negative production externality is uh, we've shown it on a diagram we use an example to look at it and we've discussed the welfare loss associated with the production of this product or service hope you enjoy this video if you have any questions um, ask below in the comments if you enjoyed the video give it a like and of course please subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos like this thanks very much for watching bye now